Yes, and then whip it really good there. Smash that turn, flow. Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we've made our way to Twisted Oaks Bike Park. I'm gonna be riding the enduro bike. It's middle of the week, it should be pretty quiet. Car wants to hit a new feature. There's a few tricks that I wanna get done on this bike and it's gonna be an awesome little midweek session. I'm stoked to bring you guys along with us. So I'm gonna get padded up, get the gear ready and make our way over to the jumps. We made it to the first trail, which is called Steezy. It's a three dotter. And I actually haven't ridden this one for a long time. So I'm gonna drop in and have a little play on that one. Let's drop in then. I can't really remember this line, but I know it starts with this cool whale tail feature. In, out, nice. See, let me jump that way. Road gap. Ew. But, um, little gap. Carry the speed. Oh, what a fun line. And it's running so fast. That's the best. Sun is shining, trails are feeling so good, nice and dry which is what we kind of wait for all winter, but instantly regretting having to pedal uphill on the non-e-bike. It makes the day so much slower. It's really surprising how many more laps you get in on the eaves. I'm gonna go back to the top and hit another trail. Time to hit the Growler, which is the new line here. We've done a whole video on it recently, but I've just got to ride it again because it was so much fun. Super flowy and jumpy and nice and yeah, amazing. Let's get it. Right, dropping into the Growler then. Let's see what it's all about on the enduro bike. It's not windy either, which is quite nice. Ew. Yeah, right, let's flow the rhythm section. You can get some real good speed up on these rollers. And it sends you into this turn, which you can rail full speed into a little cannon. Yep, little manny there in the dip. And then whip it really good there. Smash that turn, flow into the fast burns. Full commentary out, and then the dish which Carl wants to hit and land, and then roost the little tree there. What a line! We've made our way to Skinny Timber, which is like a balance beam challenge. Look, that's wicked. Two different options. Carl is going to demonstrate the first one to us. Right, here we go then. Go, 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 pedal, 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 pedal. Yeah. Woo! And he's the winner! What a send off into the sunset. I'm now going to show you the more difficult option. Right, skinny. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Little nozzer. I think that I could turn around on the other one, maybe. Oh, That'd be like quite a cool challenge, yeah. Go on then. Shall I give it a go? Let's see it. That was the worst attempt ever, wasn't it? Yeah. You got a... degrees. Right, let's try again. Yeah. Here we go. 180 on the skinny beam. Oh. Whoa. So far. It's actually, that's scary. Yeah. Let me get it. Give me a few goes. Look how wide that is to go across. Oh, that was a close one. That was really good, wasn't it? That was good. I think, I think next go or... You just have no space to turn the front wheel on it, which makes it difficult. <gasps> oh, oh that was close, wasn't that it? was really close. <gasps> oh, man. Oh. Oh, that was it. Whoa. Flipping hell. It's horrible when it happens. Oh, that was a bit far. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Oh, that. Oh. Yes, yes, yeah. yay. Way. You did it. That. That was really difficult. There's so, just no room on there. But I'm glad that worked. Let's move on because I don't want to keep playing on that anymore. <laughs> After the success of the 180 Endo, we found a little trail called Pimble, 
in the woods, which I'm gonna have a little lap down. It's a two dotter. Let's see what we have. There's a gap there. Oh yes, oh and a sharp fin jump. Nice. Three, little gap at the end. And splash the berm. <laughs> Next to Pimble is this drop line and there's two wooden drops which are in succession, is that the word? Yeah. Concession, something like that. And yeah, I'm going to hit it right now so you guys can see. That's it, speed. That do, that do. Yes. Yeah, nice. Skids, trout, trout, trout. Oh. Made our way to the dirt jump section. It's not windy today, which is good. The sun's shining. And I really want to 360 my enduro bike over a double. I don't think I've ever done it. I've done it on like a step up, but never over an actual dirt jump like this. So I'm gonna go up there. Car is gonna capture the action and hopefully we land it. That was sick. That was so good. Let's go and catch an interview with him. That worked good. It's a bit windy coming into it actually, which kind of killed a bit of speed, but so scary on a trail bike. Terrifying. The next quest for Tom is, he's just said to me he'd like to try and flip the moon booter. So I'm making my way over to the jump now. He's going to test jump it a few times to see if it's on. And if it's on, we're in for a treat basically. So let's see what he feels. Hey, moon right, here we go then. It's kind of scary actually. It's quite a big, intimidating lip to do a backflip on, especially on a trail bike. Yeah, nice. Woo! That is so sick, you done so well with that. That works so good. That is crazy. I used to find flipping and spinning these full suspension bikes really scary when all I rode was jump bike. But since being an Eber and doing flips and spins on an e-bike, when I come back on the trail bike, even though it's still got quite a lot of suspension, it just feels a lot easier to spin and stuff, which is really cool. We're gonna find something else to ride. We've come to this section of trail now, which we've never seen before, and it looks pretty cool. It's like a little steep rolling, then you go out the other end. So we're gonna train it. No, you hit it, then I would have lost it to the bank. Okay, cool. That's it. Oh, God. Oh, and airtime. And airtime. That was sick. Right, car has demonstrated. I'm now gonna launch and like hip up on that bank over there. Oh, oh my god, that oh. was insane! I stopped and he went over the bar. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was sketchy. Let's do it again and capture it from up there in slow motion. <laughs> We're at the top of the balance beam line that we hit earlier. It's the final run of the day, so let's make it a good one. Dropping in then, let's see what it's all about. We've already practiced on the skinny and I'm not turning around on it this time. <laughs> oh, the sand's so good because it's super slidey. Right, tackle it at speed. Here we go. Little jump there. Little dish in, out, skis. Oh, nearly, he wobbled really badly then. Okay, I'm never been this way. Ground are good, oh, getting a bit drifty. Oh, what a run. I didn't know that second existed. Funny hop over, back to the van. Phew. I'm now back at home and that was such a good session. It was so good to get back out on the enduro bike, hit some trails. Twisted Oaks is such a fun place to ride. 
so much variety. You've got trails, dirt jumps, and just some super flowy, fun tracks to hit. We're in the garage, and there's been quite a few of you messaging and asking when the next garage episode is happening. I plan to have it out by now. However, as you can see, there's a lot of bikes in here, and I've had to alter my plans a little bit because I've been working on an edit with High Bike, which is looking really, really good so far. We've got a little bit of filming left, um, and once that's done, I'll be back in here finishing this series. I've got so much more to come from this place. Got the edit coming, so there's lots going on. And we're back on the vlogs this week. We had a little break to go and film the edit. And I'm stoked to be back making some regular videos. So if you've enjoyed this one, give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. Let me know what sort of content or ideas you would like to see created. We'll make it happen. And I'll see you guys in the next one.